Today we're talking about mom friendships, friendships after you become a mom. Mom BFFs. Mom BFFs. Stuff. And we've invited a non-mom BFF, Ms. Kristen Chirico, who's just a regular BFF. What's up, dude? <laughs> what up? No babies for me. No babies, just sandwiches. If you're not a parent, you are frustrated when your friend that has a child can't go out with you. When you yeah. are a parent, you are frustrated when your friend that does not have a child doesn't understand your limitations. Somebody who's a non-parent, and it's like, we'll just go out. You see your kid all the time. I know I see my kid all the time, but I love them more than my anything in the world. heart hurts when I don't see her. Oh my god, look, I'm gonna like to cry <laughs> just thinking about it because I love them so much that the idea of not putting them to bed for one night makes me sad. Until I enrolled Delilah in some sort of program, and actually met other moms with kids who were the same age, I felt like I was completely alone in the world. <laughs> well, wait, this sounds really mom? sad. It's, it's isolating. It is it's isolating. It's really isolating. And I will tell you, like, on maternity leave, when you're at home with your baby by yourself trying to figure it out, and if you don't have somebody there to talk to or commiserate with, you can feel really, really lonely. One of my biggest regrets is not joining a mom's group yes. when I was pregnant. Honestly, oh however, I didn't even know that was a thing. So what happens to your friends when you give birth? They just leave. Sadly, some of your friends do disappear and it's not because they don't understand what you're going through. Intellectually, they do understand. Totally. Yeah. But it's really hard to relate to them. <laughs> I feel bad, it's like, oh hey, let's go meet for brunch. No, let's... brunch isn't a thing when you And I'm kids. like, brunch? I can't do brunch. You say do you... goodbye to brunch. Do you know what time I'm up in the morning? What? Brunch is the best. This was a big loss. This was a big loss. Yeah, like, I didn't I realize. feel like my friendships were based on brunch. All friendships are based right. on brunch. My biggest fear was being judged by people who didn't know me as a mom. <laughs> that is a problem. You need to find, you need to have friends who you are comfortable having come to your house, right? Like you come to my house, I don't feel like I need a housekeeper coming over before Ochi comes over. Big I deal. think that's a good barometer. If you can invite somebody to your house without feeling the urge to clean, yeah. they're gonna be a friend. Then they're a friend. Yeah. Okay, so what happens if your kid makes a friend, but you don't like that friend's mom? You tell and them they moved away. It's the worst. <laughs> if you don't have a mom BFF, don't worry if it doesn't happen overnight. I immediately thought that because I'm a mom, I'm gonna bond with other moms and we're just gonna be best friends. Don't, don't sweat it, man. You're gonna find the perfect mom friend for you. Your kid is gonna walk up to some stinky little booger on the playground and a beautiful friendship will be born. They might even be fighting. That's mine, that's mine. Ma, ma, ma. And then both of you will look in each other's eyes and just know. No. Just know, you'll be like, our kids are equal assholes. Let's hang out. Just like with non-parent friendships and growing <laughs> up, they don't happen overnight. And no. they develop over time. No matter what happens, you find your ride or die friends after you have your kids. Absolutely, you find your ride or die friends. For me, my family is like yeah. my ride or die forever. It's my husband and my kids. My mom friends are people who I would be friends with if I wasn't a mom. Thank God for Ochi. Aww. <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> you guys stop shipping us, we're married. It's so awkward. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> <laughs>